Hello everyone, my name is Gretz here from 01gaming.com and noobcastgaming.com. It is Monday and I've got some gaming news. Before we dive in, into the news, I want to apologize for not being around on Friday. I've been battling a little bit of a cold, which if you heard my stream last night, you could definitely tell it's there. It's still lingering now, but it's definitely hovering to the point where I can actually talk and do a video. Friday when I tried to record, there was absolutely no way in Hades I was going to get a video out because my voice sounded like a whisper. But, with that, let's take a look at what I found. So the first thing that I found is there's a lot of news going around about DayZ. First, there's talk about it being a standalone game instead of just a mod for the current Arma 2 game that is out. Then, there's other news that it could actually come out on other platforms such as Mac, 360, and PS3. But, it seems that, that although that rumor may be true to some degree, it's all going to be based on the PC sales of the actual game. Dean Hall said that the standalone release is driven by PC development and it has to meet by other platform holders' expectations, basically. You're not going to put it on consoles if you're only going to sell 100,000 units or something, he said. And he's right. I mean, honestly, from a business standpoint, that's definitely the way you want to go about doing it. If you're only going to sell 100,000 copies of the game, it's not worth trying to do that. Now, fans of the game might be disappointed by that news, but if you look at how many copies of other popular games are sold, 100,000 units is a small fraction of those other games, and it would end up costing the development team more money than it's worth to try to put it on those other platforms. I don't blame them, and seeing as the game's really popular with just YouTubers and streamers in general, more or less, and everyone else is just kind of watching, it should be interesting to see how this actually goes. If people actually end up buying the game because it's a standalone, or if they're just going to continue to only watch. A recent Bioware customer survey may have accidentally revealed that there's going to be a Dragon Age 3. Oops. In a customer survey, it looks like the game might be taking place in Orléans, which is a French themed location on the continent of Thedas. I suggest a Bioware social forum user. Well, isn't that just interesting? Dragon Age 2 just came out, what, a uh, little over a year ago, and they're already planning Dragon Age 3. That's a great way to drive the anticipation, but it also helps drive the sales of Dragon Age 2. If people know that the franchise is going to continue to live on, it's going to drive them to want to own the previous games to know what's going on in upcoming games. So, it's not a bad idea to let people know about that like that, even if that was an accident. Of course, fans can also rejoice in the fact that they can go, Yippee! We have another game coming! And Dragon Age tends to have that effect sometimes, so yippee to Dragon Age. And in the last bit of news, guess who's topped the sales chart this past week? Sleeping Dogs did! The highly anticipated game from Square Enix completely dominated the charts. They actually beat out the new Super Mario Bros. 2, which is a little bit of a surprise, seeing as we all know how popular that plumber is right and also knocked the Olympic Games what is it London 2012 down to third place in sales well we all know how everyone gets excited about the Olympic Games and those video games yay there's a lot of hype for the game and sales really really supported that a lot of the bigger youtubers right now have playthroughs and WTF is's and all that, I would highly recommend checking it out because the game looks freaking awesome. It does. And that's it from Monday. I will be back on Wednesday with more gaming news of some type of variety, shape, or form. You can also catch maybe a stream that will be coming up. I've been doing a lot more of them. If you've watched my how I bombed my StarCraft ladder, I've actually been doing rather well. I went 6-1 last night during my stream and actually went to top 8 in my ladder to 3rd. Yeah, I'm actually ranked 3rd place in my ladder right now, so I will probably be streaming that as I try to march my way to 100 wins in this season of StarCraft 2. Yes. Besides that, if you have any comments about my video, whether they be positive or negative, please leave them in the comment section down below. And if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Help! Help! Hey, y'all.
Reload! 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 